Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels this morning. Today is May the 24th of 2023 and I'd like to share another word of encouragement with you from the Lord today. Just a reminder, for those of you who would like to have a hard copy of The Daily Word, please go to my website, click on the PDF file, and you will be able to download and print this word off. You can find my website address in the description box below. For those of you who would like to review previous words, Click on the archives. A welcome to any of you who are new to this channel. On this channel, I share prophetic words I have received from the Lord for the body of Christ and for those who are listening who have not yet made a commitment to the Lord with the hope that you will come to understand the importance of giving your life to Christ. For those of you who are believers but are not familiar with the ministry of the prophetic, I urge you to read your scriptures in the New Testament referring to the gifts of the Holy Spirit which have been given to the church for its edification. In this word today, the Lord is encouraging us as his people that our lives are strategic, that they are important, that he has come to give us abundant life, and that life is in him, in the calling and destiny he has for his people. He has promised us great things, that we will never be defeated but that we will rise up victorious because he is positioning us for rulership with him over the nations. This word today is titled, Taking the Nations. I hope you will be blessed as you hear it today. I'll begin by reading scripture. John 10 verse 10. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. These are words of Jesus. He is spelling it out to us. He came to give abundant life to anyone who wants to receive it. Deuteronomy 28 verse 1 If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all his commands I give you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations on earth. This promise was given to God's people of old but it also applies to us in this generation that as we obey the Lord, the Lord will set us above the nations of the earth. Psalm 2 verse 8 Ask me and I will make the nations your inheritance, the ends of the earth your possession. This scripture in Psalms encourages us that the Lord's destiny for his people is to have preeminence above the nations. I'll begin reading this word. This is the day of resurrection life for those who seek the Lord with all their heart. They shall be raised up into life abundant. There will be no lack for those who put their trust in the Lord. There will be no disappointment for those who have made the Lord their strong tower. 
I am coming with a sword to smite the enemy, says the Lord, to take down every giant that raises its head in the midst of the people. Many have made their resting place in the Lord. They have partaken of the abundance released to them in this day, and they are being propelled on into abundant life. There is no power of darkness that can hinder them from going on in full capacity of the giftings and abilities released to them. They are able to keep running without growing weary, without tripping and falling, for they have put their hope in the Lord's coming. They have been willing to give up the desires of the flesh and be transformed by the power of the presence of the Lord into vessels fit for use in the kingdom of God. They are entering into their inheritance to take the nations for the Lord. They have been equipped and they are being sent out into the harvest fields to gather in the fruit of the harvest. I have sent my people out to accomplish my will, says the Lord. I have sent them far and wide into the highways and byways. I have released them into the ministry of reconciliation, and they shall do even greater works than I have done through the power of my Spirit that works through them. I am establishing them into the high calling of reaching the nations with the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. The reapers have been sent forth, these chosen ones who have been obedient even unto death. Do not marvel, but understand the times. This is the day when the full number shall be gathered in, and my house shall be full, says the Lord. I am moving throughout the earth to bring every man, woman, and child into relationship with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I am breaking down the barriers that have held the people back from entering into my presence and receiving abundant grace and forgiveness. I am removing every binding that has hindered them from going forward to receive the prize. I am clearing the roadway and they shall run the race set before them. They shall get up off the ground, get on their feet and begin to run toward the goal. I will not leave nor forsake my people, but I shall turn their eyes and their hearts toward me, says the Lord. I shall refocus their attention. No longer will they seek to please men, but they shall turn their hearts to the Lord and seek him. This is the day when the hearts of the people shall be changed. Every earthly desire shall be removed from within them and replaced with the heartbeat of the Father. Great is the Lord, and great is his power in this day to turn the hearts of the children toward their Father which is in heaven. You will see a turning of the tide. You will see a change in the hearts of men. You will see those who have been consumed with the desires of the flesh changed. You will see them let go of earthly pleasure and begin to pursue the purposes of God. I am building a people in this day who will not be held back by worldly pleasures, but who will let go of these and cling to the hope of my coming. Desire the Lord with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Seek his purpose for your life in this day. Do not be content to let the day go by, except to know the will of the Father in everything you do. He has a plan and a purpose for your life. 
He has a path marked out. Follow his leading. He will walk you into abundant life. The joy of the Lord is the strength of his people. The joy of the Lord is the seal he has put upon them. For they shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. Continue in his joy. It will get you through the toughest of times. It will bubble up from deep within to dispel the darkness. It will bubble up and flow forth to break down doubt and apprehension. It will rise up to conquer every foe. It is a well that will not run dry. I have placed this well within you, says the Lord. I have imparted living waters into your spirit, and these waters shall flow forth from deep within your soul, and nothing will be able to quench the flow. In this word today, the Lord is assuring us that he has a plan and a purpose for our lives, that our paths are marked out, and as we follow the pathway he has made for us, if we obey his words and seek him with all of our heart, we will find the pathway that leads to abundant life to the joy, hope, and peace that the Lord provides. The Lord is telling us that he has a people through which he will accomplish his will, and that will is to minister hope and life to the nations. The Lord is telling us that he will not leave nor forsake his people, that though they may have stumbled, he will pick them up, that he will remove the obstacles in the way, cause them to get off the ground, get back on their feet, and get back into the race set before them to run for the prize of the high calling to receive their inheritance, which is to take the nations for the Lord. I hope this word today has brought encouragement to your heart. The Lord has come to bring abundant life. My prayer is that we will all be encouraged to seek the Lord for His purposes in our lives so that we can live fulfilling lives with great purpose. Thank you for listening today. Have a great afternoon, and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings to you all in the name of Jesus. Bye for now.